What's it like for you to, you know, help put a hearing aid on a kid or a 14 or 18 year old who's ne never heard prior to that? It's a brand new to me, it's a miracle. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful experience. I, I never been in nothing like this. Um, I grew up in a neighborhood where I knew some friends was uh, were deaf, they couldn't, or so they couldn't speak. Uh, some of them did have a difficulty of listening or couldn't. But coming now in the Congo, 20 some plus years later, and uh, giving the hearing aid to the same people you grew up with, and all the kids, mother, father, and grandparents, and then seeing people looking in here for the first time. It's hard for me to describe it, you know. I think uh, it goes to the definition why this hospital was built, about saving life, uh, changing life, improving the community, and uh, also providing people great access to education. This is really a great education for the population. You know, now mom and dad, you have a duty to take their child home. The child can hear them, but now they have to teach the child how to repeat what they're hearing. And uh, it was amazing how uh, I look myself as a professor, a teacher today, trying to teach the other mother how to teach her son how to speak. It was, uh, it's a great experience. Starkey was at the Kembe's hospital during our visit, and over the course of three days, more than 1,500 people received the gift of hearing. We're, we're fitting this gentleman with a pair of hearing aids uh, from Starkey Hearing Foundation. So uh, we're testing a couple different pairs and towers, and it sounds like he's hearing quite well now. So what we can do is give him a chance at life with his hearing aids, and, and give him a chance to no longer be isolated from the family or disconnected. Uh -huh. And so this sort of brings the family unit back together, and they can be a part of the community again. She's, it's a congenital problem. She's been deaf since birth. She's, so she's never heard anything before. So this is the first time? This is the first time she's hearing anything, yeah. But the problem is, is she might she won't understand. Okay. She doesn't have any language skills. I got it. It's a communication that we all take for granted. Right. Yeah. yeah. Can you ask her how she's feeling right now? What, what, what's she saying? She's happy. She's, she's happy, happy to what she's feeling. <laughs> she's scared of you. She told me he, he say father. Uh -huh. Ba 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 ba. You say father. Okay. Do you remember? She would. She Half. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. She yeah. knows my name. My name is uh, Raphael. He's uh, Raphael? Yeah. That's the first time no, she's ever Raphael. said his name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>